Let's look at some of the main types of cyber attackers who'll try anything to get their hands on our information. They are often categorized as white hat, gray hat, or black hat attackers. The term script kitties emerged in the 1990s and refers to amateur or inexperienced hackers who use existing tools or instructions found on the internet to launch attacks. Some script kitties are just curious. Others are trying to demonstrate their skills and cause harm. While script kitties may use basic tools, their attacks can still have devastating consequences. This group of attackers break into computer systems or networks to gain access. Depending on the intent of their break-in, they can be classified as white, gray, or black hat hackers. White hat attackers break into networks or computer systems to identify any weaknesses so that the security of a system or network can be improved. These break-ins are done with prior permission and any results are reported back to the owner. Gray hat attackers may set out to find vulnerabilities in a system, but they will only report their findings to the owners of a system if doing so coincides with their agenda. Or they might even publish details about the vulnerability on the internet so that other attackers can exploit it. Black hat attackers take advantage of any vulnerability for illegal personal, financial, or political gain. These attackers include organizations of cyber criminals, hacktivists, terrorists, and state-sponsored hackers. They are usually highly sophisticated and organized, and may even provide cybercrime as a service to other criminals. Hacktivists make political statements to create awareness about issues that are important to them. State-sponsored attackers gather intelligence or commit sabotage on behalf of their government. They are usually highly trained and well-funded and their attacks are focused on specific goals that are beneficial to their government. Cyber attacks can originate from within an organization as well as from outside of it. Internal employees, contract staff or trusted partners can accidentally or intentionally mishandle confidential data, facilitate outside attacks by connecting infected USB media into the organization's computer system, invite malware onto the organization's network by clicking on malicious emails or websites, or threaten the operations of internal servers or network infrastructure devices. External amateurs or skilled attackers outside of the organization can exploit vulnerabilities in the network, gain unauthorized access to computing devices, or use social engineering to gain unauthorized access to organizational data.